Welcome to another episode of Coding Practice. You might face some problems that ask you to find the middle of a linked list or find whether a linked list has a loop or not. There's a famous coding pattern to handle these problems, which is called fast and slow pointer, or sometimes people call it hare and tortoise. Today, we're going to talk about this coding pattern. Stay with me. One of the examples that this pattern can solve is to check whether a linked list has, has a loop or not. To tackle this problem, we start with two pointers. We call it slow for a pointer or, and fast pointer. So slow pointer moves one element at a time, whereas fast pointer moves two elements at a time. It's been proven that they eventually meet each other at some point if there is any loop in the linked list. If there is no loop in the linked list, then the fast pointer gets to the end of the linked list and, and that's it, we are done. Basically, there's no loop. So I'm not going to prove the, this concept that why they meet each other eventually, but you can, you can check it online. But, uh, but believe me, if one pointer moves one step at a time and the other pointer moves two steps at a time, if there is a loop in the linked list, eventually they meet at some point. Um, also, for, for, for example, if you are given a problem that asks you to find the middle of a linked list, again, same uh, strategy. We start with two pointers, slow and fast. Fast moves two elements at a time, slow moves one element at a time. And when the fast element reaches the end of the linked list, the slow pointer will be pointing to the, to the middle of the linked list. So now let's look into an example. So in this problem, we are given a linked list. It might have a cycle or not. But the question asks us to return none if there is no cycle or return the starting point of the cycle if there is any cycle. Let's see how we can solve this problem by fast and slow pointer approach. As I mentioned, we start with two pointers. One is called slow and the other one is called fast. Both starts at the beginning of the linked list. Now, slow moves one step at a time, and fast moves two step at a time. We keep doing this until they either they meet each other at some point or the fast pointer reach to the end of the linked list. Okay, so at this point they meet each other. That means that there, there's definitely a cycle in our linked list. Now, how do we find the beginning of this cycle? Okay, so what we can do is that we can start calculating the length of the cycle by moving one of these pointers one at a time and counting uh, the cycle length. Uh, let's, let's count it, let's, let's move S for example, until we reach to the beginning. So one, two, three, four, and five. So the length of the cycle is equal to five. Good. So to find the starting point of the cycle, which is three in this example, we start from the beginning of the linked list again. We start with, again, two pointers, like pointer one and pointer two. Uh, this time we don't need to uh, move one of the pointers like faster. Instead, because we know that the length of the cycle is 5, we just move one of the pointers 5 times ahead of the first pointer. Like in this case, point 2 will be on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we start moving pointer one and pointer two one step at a time at the same time until they meet each other. And the point that they meet each other, that's the beginning of the cycle. Let's do that. Uh, 
Great, so they meet each other at three. So this is the beginning of the linked list. We can prove this mathematically, but I'm not gonna prove that here. Uh, okay, so that's it. What would be the time complexity of this algorithm? In the worst case, we are actually traversing and visiting all nodes. The time complexity is O of n, where n is the total number of nodes in the list, and the space complexity, well, we just use um, two pointers for slow and fast and two pointers for pointer one and pointer two. So um, we, can, we can say that we are using like a constant space, so O of one. Now, let's code this up. So here's the problem. Given a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return null. So first of all, let's implement the linked list class. Cool. Now, let's uh, define our function. So first of all, if uh, our linked list is empty or our linked list has only one single node, that means that there's no any cycle. So we don't have any you know, starting point of a cycle. So we should return not. As I mentioned, so we, we start with two pointers, slow and fast. Both of them will start from the beginning of the linked list. Now, we say while fast and fast next, we move the slow pointer one element at a time and fast pointer two element at a time. So now if slow and fast meet each other, then what we can do is that we have to find the length of the cycle, okay? And oh, I can actually start, like initialize cycle uh, length minus one. And after we get the, the cycle length, then we can stop searching for the loop and Right, so basically, what if there's, there's no a loop or cycle in a linked list, then this condition will never meet and we exit the while loop, while loop without finding any cycle length. So basically, and then in that case, we have to return none. So basically we say return none if cycle length is equal minus one else return the starting point. Given the head of the linked list and the cycle length. Okay, so now we have to implement these two methods. Let's start with the first one, get cycle length. So, And then if head and sorry, and then we basically move one step at a time and counting the number of steps that we take until we reach to the starting point. So if head is equal to target, then we just break and we return cycle length. So basically we start with zero store where we start and then we start walking one step at a time and keep adding to the cycle until we reach to the to the starting point and at that point we just return the cycle length let's implement the other one get starting point okay here 
we know where to start. We know the starting point or the head of the linked list. And we know the cycle length. As I mentioned, we start with two pointers, right? Pointer one and pointer two. Both of them start with the beginning of the, of the linked list, but this time we move the pointer two cycle length times ahead of pointer one. Actually, we don't need even a variable here. Now we start moving pointer one and pointer two one at a time until they meet and we just return that position. And as soon as they meet, we just return pointer one. All right, that's it. So we implemented the full solution. Now let's actually test it. So this is exactly the, uh, the example that we solved. So we start with node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7 will point to node 3, which is here, which is head next next. Now we want to call our function give the head so if detect something just print okay, let's run it okay perfect so it actually found three now, what if we don't have any loop? So basically, um, what I'm going to do is that I'm just remove this, uh, this loop here. So our linked list just basically a series of numbers from 1 to 7, and then that's it. No cycle. Let's run this. Yeah, it's not. Perfect. So there are many other variations of such problems that can be solved by this technique, fast and slow pointers. Um, I'm going to solve more problems of this, but, but I guess that's it for now. Hope you enjoy this episode of Coding Practice. If you find this video useful, uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.